Hello everyone and welcome to another Q's View video. Now today is going to be the first video in the mini bot series which I am starting today. And we're of course going to start with the very iconic and the first mini bot we ever saw in the cartoon series. And that is Bumblebee. Now here's the 1.0 version of the Masterpiece Bumblebee by Takara Tomy. Pretty cool figure. He had his strengths, he had his weaknesses. There's been a 2.0 since. Many of you have purchased it. I have not. So, we're going to talk about Bumblebee just for a brief second. How do you feel about Bumblebee as a character? Of course, we've seen him initially with Wheeljack. And, of course, the first time we see them, they are not in these earthly vehicle modes. They are in their Cybertronian modes for their alt modes. So, my first question is... How do you feel about Bumblebee being the first mini-bot that we see? And number two, and I've had this discussion with some others here locally. How would you like to see either Bumblebee or Wheeljack, since he's in the picture here, available in their Cybertronian modes and not just their Earth vehicle modes? And how would that work? Alright, back to Bumblebee here. So do you have this figure? If so, what do you think about it? Do you have the 2.0 version or both? And how would you compare the two? Do you feel they've done a great job of representing the Bumblebee figure? Or do you feel let down? Now I know some other companies have made Bumblebee, such as Toy World and whatnot. Have you gone with any other third-party Bumblebee figures? Now if you're not happy with the current MP or third-party offerings, who do you think could do a better job? Now for you chug collectors, what do you have representing Bumblebee in your collection? Now, as far as the character goes, Bumblebee, of course, was represented both in the cartoon series and in the Michael Bay movies. And as many of us know, in the Michael Bay movies, Bumblebee looks quite a bit different than the hair. He's no longer a Volkswagen Beetle. He's a Chevy Camaro. How do you feel about that? And how do you feel about the differentiations between and, and maybe some of the liberalities that Michael Bay took on putting these iconic characters into his movie? I know some of you like it, some of you don't. But what are your personal feelings about it? Now, we'll get more into the character of Bumblebee. So, for those of you who are collectors since the G1 days, did you own the G1 version of Bumblebee? The original one, kind of like the penny racer style vehicle. And if so, do you still have them to this very day? I know some of you are G1 collectors, so we have some pretty amazing collections. Do you still have this guy in your G1 collection? Is he mint on card or is he out on a shelf? How do you collect him? And was it, do you still feel the same level of nostalgia from those figures that you felt when you first got it? And do these MP figures, if you own them, do they cause the same reaction? So there's our spotlight on Bumblebee. I'd like to thank you all so very much for taking the time to check this out. Stay tuned for the next mini bot video of this series, and we'll catch you in the next videos. Take care, everyone. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.